Jellicoe Street, which was actually named after Lord Jellicoe, who was the second Governor General to New Zealand back in 1921. And a little bit about Lord Jellicoe, he was a very keen sailor, and at one time he was a member of most sailing clubs in New Zealand. But back in 1920, he was challenged to a sailing race, and a solid silver trophy was put up for the winner. Unfortunately, Lord Jellicoe lost the race, but the solid silver trophy, which is called the Sanders Cup, is still sailed for today, and it's the oldest trophy sailed for in New Zealand. Many of the streets in the Wanyard Quarter are named after old dead British guys uh, with a connection to the maritime industry. And uh, this street is no exception. This is Halsey Street named after Admiral Sir Lionel Halsey. Sir, Halsey, uh, Sir Lionel was captain of the HMS New Zealand from 1913 to 1915. After that he was promoted to be second lord of the Admiralty, which is a fancy way of saying he was the 2IC for the British Navy. But his claim to fame comes from his time when he was captain on the HMS New Zealand. Uh, during that time, the ship suffered no major damage. In fact, it got through several battles and it was merely scratched to the paintwork. But most importantly, it got through those battles with no major injuries or loss of life to the crew. And this is what helps earn the ship the moniker the Lucky Ship. And it came to be seen as a good luck charm all throughout the First World War. stop here in Gaunt Street, another street named after a notable in the maritime industry. Admiral Gaunt was a big figure of the Battle of Jutland during the First World War and if you jump onto Mr and Mrs Google you can find out where the Battle of Jutland fitted in to the uh, activities of the First World War. She was also involved in some other campaigns, such as fighting to protect the income of married women, because prior to that, uh, when a married woman was paid, it was paid to her husband, not to herself. Um, and she also fought to end some pretty racist immigration policies. And this is our third stop, Dolby Street. Amy Dawley was also involved in the temperance movement, which is the uh, anti-alcohol movement. And um, while for, for many early campaigners, the fight for the, for the rights of women to vote and the temperance movement were linked, for Amy Dawley, they were separate things. And she was very careful to keep them uh, separate. And there's actually, if you follow this wall around the outside of the park here, there's some information about her life's work um, and her work with other suffragists, uh, such as Kate Shepherd, who's famously in New Zealand on the $10 note. Um, and also people like Emily Pankhurst in the UK who were uh, doing similar work there. Right now we're headed down Daldy Street. Daldy Street is named after Amy Daldy's husband, Captain William C. Daldy. William was a uh, captain of the Naval Reserves. He was also captain of his own virtual vessel. Uh, and he was also very involved in the community. He was uh, for a while a city councillor, he was a GP. For a while he was also a MP, a Member of Parliament, a Member of Parliament, um, and he was also the founder and first captain of the Auckland City Fire Brigade. And the steam tug William C. Dawley, which famously saved the last span of the Auckland Harbour Bridge from being blown away, uh, is also named after him. One thing I love is, um, so William and Amy met and uh, married when they were already widowers themselves um, in their 50s. And at their wedding, William gave a speech where he said that men would have given women the right to vote sooner if they hadn't been such cowards. Which is a pretty cool thing to say. 